The AstraZeneca Oxford University vaccine, is that, which one is that? Is that the adeno media, the, which one is that, Scott, that, that we're talking about here? That's right. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a viral vector vaccine. It's an adenoviral vector vaccine. All right. So we've done it before with other uh, diseases. We, we kind of, we may know something about the safety of that vector to try to use a, as a vaccine. Would it make sense to you? To start using that before, at the point that we're talking about, that we just intimated where it might come a little bit earlier than, than big full scale, full scale phase three trials are finished. Uh, do you think it makes sense to do that? Look, I think you need to do careful research with these vaccines. There's two large trials underway in the U.S., one by Pfizer. I'm on the board of Pfizer, a 30,000-patient trial, another by Moderna, another 30,000-patient trial. These trials are enrolling very quickly. Um, I think what the Financial Times was reporting on is that there's a trial underway in the United Kingdom with that AstraZeneca vaccine involving 10,000 patients. That trial hasn't fully enrolled yet. I think it's about three quarters enrolled. But because it's a smaller trial, it could read out sooner than the large trials underway in the U.S. And so the question would become, would the United Kingdom license the vaccine on the basis of that trial or provide some kind of authorization? And then would the U.S. feel pressure to do the same, to follow the British uh, regulatory decision on the basis of a small data set involving only um, U.K. Uh, British uh, citizens and some citizens from other countries, but not an American trial? I think there's going to be some added complexity to this and that that vaccine initially started off as a single dose. And then they were finding that they weren't getting immunogenicity. They weren't getting a strong immune response with just a single dose. So they went towards a double dose like the U.S. vaccines are, like the Moderna vaccine. They're two different doses. And so that might further confound the ability to draw very clear conclusions from that trial. I'm not sure. But, um, but that's really the question that the FT was probing was, would there be pressure to license that vaccine on the basis of that smaller data set that might read out sooner in the United Kingdom?